Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of, Ocarina of Time, what? This is not Ocarina of Time, this is Majora's Mask, you silly. <laughs> anyway, um, in the last episode we did a whole bunch of stuff in Clock Town and we're gonna spend at least one more three day cycle here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to show you this secret here. Because you can actually go over here and in this chest will be something nice for you. And here we have a silver ruby. You're pretty happy. Pretty happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now there's one other thing that I'm going to do here. At least that I can think of now. We can actually go back to uh, this place because we still have the code. But we're going to have to do this as a Deku scrub. Talk to him. And we're going to give him the code again, which it was 2 4. Oh, wait, I'm going to do this with my D pad because my control stick isn't really cooperative now. 2 4 3 5 1. So we can go in. Yes, yes, I know what kind of stuff is in there. Oh, wait. This controller acts a little weird, but. Nah, it's fine. Then you want to. Take off your deco mask and walk back out. And if we talk to him now, he will say, Hey guy, you haven't passed my test, so how do you know my secret code? Nobody but bombers know that code, so why do you know it? Listen guy, you're pretty good. You managed to figure out a code that only we know. Now that's something, I like you. What's your name, guy? Link, huh? Alright, that skull kid broke our rules and is doing all kinds of stuff. I'm making Link a new mom member of the Bombers instead. This is the Bombers notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. This is something you might want to pick up because it's pretty useful. It, al it allows you to keep track of people's schedules. And like I told you before with the whole 3 day cycle everyone's doing different things at different times of the day. This With this thing you can actually keep track of that which is really useful. So yes, 20 people, and there isn't more people that need help, so... Yes, yes, I don't know. I, I, I don't need those, those tutorials. Tell you tell that Skull Kid is... He's <coughs> that Skull Kid, he's out, out of there? He's been acting like a real jerk lately. Bomber Secret Society of Justice was added to your notebook. And we were taught the secret code, so if you ever forget it, just look in your notebook and you'll find it. And I think now that we have that, we can actually do some more stuff. Because I think we can get a mask here now that we have that notebook. And it should be in this room right here. Or at least I hope. No. Not. And it doesn't work now. I don't, I don't know why. I, I, I thought she was going to give us a mask. We don't need to know this right now. This is about uh, a problem we're gonna say uh, we're gonna solve way later, like after Dungeon Three. So at least we, uh, at least Gorman uh, was um, went to a notebook and told the band manager and met him aroma. Okay, we can't talk to her right now. Because Madam Aroma should be the one giving us the mask, but it doesn't seem to work right now. Oh well, I don't care. Let's go to West Clockdown and uh, did I just walk in the wrong door? I think I did. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, uh, today uh, video went up. I. Um, I actually guest, guest starred on uh, Mr. LP, Man Kid Thing's Ocarina of Time LP. He's doing, uh, he's doing pretty good so far. I meant to add the video to my favorites, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Because I want to record this first and while this video is rendering I can watch my subscription. Because actually I had no videos for today. I'm recording this uh, on the same day that it's going to be uh, uploaded, August 25th. So let's uh, head to West Clock Town. There's actually something else that I need to do there with those rupees. Something else I need to spend them on. I might as well do that now while I'm at it. Ok, 
Okay, can I talk to you? Uh, we're gonna deposit. Let's see. We already have 141. Now we might as well deposit all of them. What the hey? Wow, that's a lot. A lot, a lot. Alright, little guy, now you get a total of 240 rupees from you. What's this? You've already saved 200 rupees? Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. And we get the adult wallet. So, it also a lot of rupees. Now you can carry up to 200 of them. Nice. And I'm actually gonna uh, withdraw 50 of my rupees here. Because I need to buy something with it. You don't really need it right now. Uh, you actually need it uh, when you go to the second dungeon. But I'm gonna do it now anyway. Just because I can and I'm here. So I might as well. Um, where is that? Oh, that's right here. This is the bomb shop. And uh, right here, the thing that I want to buy is a bomb bag. Yes, you actually buy the bomb bag in this game. You don't find it as a dungeon treasure like an Ocarina of Time. I got a bomb bag. I carry a use bombs. With this special offer, the bomb bag comes filled with 20 bombs. How lucky. Yeah, so we might want to upgrade that thing. Because 20 bombs is not really that much. It's enough for now, but... And we're gonna get something anyway. That's gonna help out. Not spoiling too much here. So, something else I should probably... Uh, I should probably do now. Um... Let me think. There's at least some... There's at least one other thing I know I can do here. Uh, that's a north clock time. And that doesn't happen until... Uh, until midnight, so... You know what? I, 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 I could skip. And it might be a good chance to show this off. Because what you can actually do is you can... Uh, um, you can play each note in the Song of Time twice, like I said. And that's the Song of Double Time. And with that, we can proceed to the night of the first day. So this is really, uh, really useful when you're waiting for something. And we're gonna have to wait until midnight, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut to there. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and something should be about to happen right now. Yeah, there we go. We have this, uh, this creepy guy. Stop, thief! Give the old lady her luggage back. That lady is actually the, uh, boss of the bomb shop we bought the, uh, bomb back earlier. So we want to hit this guy. I think that's enough. He will run off. He'll run off, I think. Yeah. But that doesn't matter, because we do have the bomb at that bag, so... Thank you, since he didn't make our... Uh, off with them, I can finally stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but you could use it uh, to throw your own festival fireworks show. And we get the blast mask. Why is that white? That uh, texture glitch much? <laughs> Where it would see you can have a blast would be, but you'll lose life energy in the process. So, yeah. You can actually do something to make sure you don't uh, receive any damage and that you're gonna have to uh, hold up your shield while you do it. And actually something else I wanna do. As soon as I skip to the next day because now we can actually go back to that bomb shop. And she said she was, uh, she was gonna stock up on bomb bags in the shop. Well, you can actually buy a bigger bomb bag there now. And you can only do that if you stop that thief at, n at the night of the first day, so... And after that, I think we're gonna end off the, uh, the episode here, because we're kind of running low on time. So, and then in the next episode, we'll fi we're finally gonna do something and go to the first dungeon. Okay, so, as I was trying to say before, I got rudely interrupted. Uh, 
There's probably more stuff in Clock Town that I can do right now, but I'm gonna say screw it. I don't want to mess with it right now. I just want to get started with the uh, with the dun with the dungeon this uh, this game, or at least the first one, which is pretty much my favorite dungeon actually. Next area is probably my already my favorite area, or it's the third one maybe. I'm gonna need some of my rupees again, and uh, we're gonna head back to the uh, bomb shop here. And we're gonna talk to this guy, and he should have a bigger bomb bag for us, so let's look at that. 90 rupees, okay. I need more. It's kind of weird buying it at this point of the game, because we don't really need it yet. No, 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 no. I don't want to deposit my rupees, I want to withdraw them. No, no, no. That's not a cruel joke, I just... I just pushed the wrong thing. <laughs> so yes, we're gonna get 38 rupees here. So we have exactly 90. And let's buy that bomb back now. And then there's actually something else that I can do. I'm gonna do it right now, I just remembered. It's something that I got to do before I forget. First, let me uh, buy the big bomb back here. And with this, we can carry up to 30 bombs. So that's our first item upgrade. And the other thing that I want to do, you can do this in either the shop or the um, thing. The bomber's hideout. Because they, those are the places where the two scarecrows are. And what you can actually do, just like in... Uh, just like an ocarina of time, you can um, you can make up a song. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh baby, that's a nice thing you got there. Let me hear a song you wrote on that. Okay, here goes. Let's see. No, 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 that's not what I want. And some people might recognize that as uh, Saria's song. Actually, someone in the uh, in the comments pointed out to me that the uh, that the song of um, the song of healing is actually uh, Saria's song, but uh, backwards. And I never really realized that, but he was right. It is. So I th I thought it would be a good idea to uh, pick Saria's song as our scarecrow song. Why not? So. That'll be it for today. In the next episode, we're finally gonna head to the first dungeon. See you then. Bye.